Hello everybody, my name is Rohit Desponde, and in this course, we'll be building an app that can actually detect what the uh, rank and suit of a particular set of cards is. And so you can see that we have this image of uh, the, uh, just some image of some playing cards, and you see that we can perform, we can kind of warp them so that they're not quite tilted, and we can determine, you know, the rank and then the suit of, uh, you know, any of the cards that we get. So, particularly what we're going to be discussing is the topic of thresholding. And in particular, we're going to look at two techniques called binary thresholding and inverted binary thresholding. And they're just ways that we can um, get, we can run, they're kind of the most basic form of image segmentation. So we want to separate our image into a foreground uh, and a background, and so thresholding is a nice way to do this. Then we talk a little bit about contour detection, and that is, you know, once we have separated our image into a foreground and background, that's still not quite enough. We need to detect that rectangular contour of a playing card and then use that to kind of unwarp it and so then we can look it up we can look up what the rank in the suit of that particular card is. So we'll talk a little bit about this curve approximation, contour hierarchy, and then a little bit on polygon uh, approximation. So we've been making courses since 2012 and we're really excited to have you on board. Online courses are a great way to learn new skills and Take a lot of these courses myself. Some of the courses consist mainly of video lessons that you can watch and rewatch at your own pace and as many times as you want. We also have downloadable source code that contains everything that uh, we build in the videos. It's really recommended that you code along with me because, in my experience, that's one of the best ways to learn a skill is to get your hands dirty immediately. And finally, we've seen that students who get the most out of these online courses are the same students who make like a weekly plan and stick with it based on of course on your own availability and your learning style. Remember that you can watch and rewatch these videos as many times as you want so it really gives uh, more flexibility. At Zenvo we taught programming and game development to over 200,000 students for over 50 courses since 2012. Some of these students have used the skills that they've learned to advance their careers, start up a company, or publish their own apps and games. Thanks for joining, and I look forward to seeing all the cool stuff that you'll be building. Now, without further ado, let's get started.